What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make thumbnails. This might be useful for some people. Maybe some of you guys will just take half of what I'm showing or maybe even less and use it in your thumbnails. But I thought it was an interesting video uh, to make. So here you guys go. First step, make a new project and call it thumbnail. I already have the project here. Just so that you have a, a project where you um, store all your thumbnails or where you create all your thumbnails. Next step, you're going to want to drag your picture in. I'm going to just go and grab a random picture from the internet. Uh, grab a Donald Trump picture. Um, just grab any random one. Okay, so the first step is going to be to crop out the background. To do that, you're going to want to go to effects, which is right here. And then you're going to want to go to um, mask, which is right here. And then you're going to want to go draw mask, the first one. Drag it right onto the clip. Or just make sure that this has a yellow line around it and just double click and it will add one. Now, after you do that, um, zoom in. And you're going to want to double click here again, click mask, and it's going to bring up this little pointer thing right here. And then you're going to want to start adding points like this. And you're going to want to stay on the edge of the person or the object that you're cropping out. I'm going to cut out a lot of those loose hairs. I'm just uh, going to do this fast. Actually, you know what? I'll cut and I'll uh, I'll be back as soon as it's done. Alright, so once you're uh, getting close to the starting point of adding these points... Uh, all you're going to have to do is double click on the last one and it's going to connect to the first one. So I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Uh, so you're, oops. So you're just going to want to put the last one here and then double click it. And then it's going to crop out the whole background. Boom. So go back to your view up here. Go to fit. And then boom, we have Donald Trump cropped out. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it down. You might not have to do this because uh, your image might be perfect, the uh, perfect way you want it. I'm going to scale it down a bit like this. And I'm going to move it and I'm going to leave a little gap because I like to put borders. Again, you might not want to do this, but I like to do this for mine. I like to put a border around the whole picture after. So uh, let's get it to the perfect size you're going to want it. You could change the size after, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, let's go ahead and move this over a bit like that. Okay. Now you're going to want to come here, copy the image of the whatever your picture is. Copy it. Paste it. And then you're going to want to drag one on top, one on bottom. So the one on the bottom, you're going to want to come back over here. And you're going to want to go to the draw mask. It, you might um, you might be uh, somewhere else. Maybe you might have clicked something over here. And you don't know where draw mask is. Just go to this little uh, picture of a, a reel. Click it. And there you go, you're back. So you see draw mask here. And for the bottom one again, you're going to want to click feather and you're going to want to turn it up every picture you make is going to be different how high you turn feather but i'll show you what i mean so you see how it's come the background's coming in i'm going to put it just a bit like that so it just shows the border and then i'm going to want to take the fall off up i usually go all the way because it smooths out the edges so it's nice to just put up all the way and then let's hide this and then next to here, you're going to want to click this button here. You could do this to get this uh, to this color uh, thing. Or 
you can go to effects again, go to all, and then just type in color. And then boom, you have color board, which you can drag on to the bottom one. And then you'll have this exact thing right here. This is a lot easier way to do it to just click here, but sometimes on some versions of um, Final Cut, maybe even up, uh, not an updated version, you're going to have to go to effects and drag it in. But for me, I don't have to. It's right here. So again, you click it, open it. It should look like this. If you're dragging it in, the way you open it is just by... Um, not already in the color board. You would just click this right here. It's a little triangle and it opens it. All right, so if you want to just make it easy, quick, go to exposure, lift it all the way up, bang, you have it all whited out. Obviously, because uh, the image didn't show his whole head, this isn't going to look as smooth and nice as this, same with the bottom. So in that case, you would obviously just make bring up the scale. Oops. Uh, you would bring up the scale of the first image until this is flush with the top of the screen. But I'm going to put something up here. Or whatever this is just for tutorial purposes anyway so it doesn't really matter if you want to make it a different color what you're going to do is open up the color board again and you're going to take exposure down the exposure starts off here right in the middle you're going to want to go to color you're going to want to choose what color you want so let's say we want to make it red go to saturation you can change saturation a bit make it more saturated or less saturated less saturated is going to be less color more saturated is going to be more sharper colors or uh, brighter colors or and then you can turn exposure up and it's going to give you a nice cool effect to it. All right, so I'm done. I'm just going to leave it red, simple. If you um, ever mess up and you want to, uh, and you don't like the way that your colors look and you want it to go back to default, all you could do is come back to this video tab right here, click this, delete it, and then grab another one down here and do it again. But I like the way that looks. So the next step, what you're going to do, want to do with this picture is copy both of these or um, grab both of these not copy just highlight both of them right click new component clip name it whatever you want and now you have this as one clip so you can use this in multiple thumbnails after it's going to be in your library and name it whatever you want so it's easier to find or what you can do too is change the scale and it'll all be the same thing actually what i'm going to do before i do that if you ever have to undo remember just Control z Control z and you can get back to here or you can go into the um this uh your tab and you can just double click this and it'll open in timeline just like that and then you can affect this as much as you want uh you could fix the changes and then uh highlight both of them new component clip blah 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 all right so next what we're going to want to do is create some text to throw over this picture so i'm going to use basic text because i like to create uh the way the text looks on itself instead of using a pre-made but you can go ahead and do that if you want and then just skip forward in the video till the next part but I'm going to create my own text so let's go ahead and um, delete out the rest of the bit that we're not using double click on the text go here and I'm gonna put uh, in caps how to create a thumb Oops. how to create a thumbnail and then let's triple row it go over to it um, over here wherever you want to go to the next row and then just super click spacebar I mean uh, enter and it puts it all centered so how to create a thumbnail okay Next, I'm going to, let's blow it up a bit. Go over here to video, just for now, so I can see what's going on. Make it bigger. Come back here. Scroll down. Uh, enable 3D. Show what's going on. And this, uh, you're just going to play with this until it's the way that you like it. I'm going to raise that a bit. I'm going to uh, raise depth first, then raise uh, weight. And then I don't like the way that's rounded here. So what you can do is front edge right here. You're going to want to go to this button right here. And I'm going to make it squared. But there are a whole bunch of cool presets here that you can use. Like stuff like that. I'm just going to keep it squared. You can also change the font if you want to. 
up here. There's a whole bunch of cool fonts you can use. I'm going to keep the normal font. After you've done that, we're going to start changing the color. So you can go to basic here and you can choose a whole bunch of these preset, uh, what do you call them, faces or whatever. Uh, colors and themes, you can choose uh, concrete, fabrics, whatever. I'm going to make mine uh, custom. It looks better. So we're going to go to substance. We're going to go to, if you want to keep it shiny, keep it shiny. Or you can choose um, textured or matte, whatever you want. I'm going to go textured. And then I'm going to go to color type. And let's change this. Color Changing color type makes it so we can have multicolored um, pictures. We'll make it blue and red. So let's make this a little brighter red. And let's make the blue a little darker. Boom. Perfect. All right, so now that we got that set up, we're going to want to come down and we're going to want to change the way that this color is set up. So by changing these parameters here, you're changing the way that the color is spread on your text. So set it up the way you like it. I like it like this. I like to be blue, like one color on one side faded to another color on this corner instead of being top down. All right, so next we're gonna go glow, enable glow, show right here. And let's choose a color. We're gonna make the color blue. And then we're gonna go to blur, turn blur up a bit and then turn radius up. But actually, you know what, let's make it red. some reason it wasn't changing color if it happens with you guys and it's not changing color when you're clicking on uh, double clicking this all you got to do is just click down here and then choose what kind of color you want it's actually make it a little darker all right so now that we've got that done let's change the rotation of the actual text we're going to scroll back up to here and we're going to want to change the rotation so Let's break it go. Let's make it go down a bit like that. So it's showing the bottom and also kind of on an angle like that. And then for this, let's make it like on an angle like that. Looks fun. And then let's change the scale again because that's way too big. Pop this up here. Okay. And now let's get a background to end this off. So go back to the internet and let's just type in fire uh, background HD. Grab any one of these. Boom, boom, save in the jazz. Save it on the desktop. Drag it in. Okay. All right, so after you've dragged it in, um, you might want to adjust the size or whatever for the background. I'm just gonna leave it there for, um, so it's a little faster. Let's drag this down a bit. Perfect. Next, I'm going to highlight all of these, right click, new component clip, boom, and then I'm going to go back to the effects tab here, click all, and then you're going to type in simple border, drag it in, and then let's make this color, let's make these colors match, so I'm going to go blue, And then I'm going to grab another one, drag it in, and I'm going to make it red. So let's make the top one that's blue, 
Uh, let's click on width 30. Let's make this one 15. And then let's make a last one a five. And let's make the last one black. There you go. So we're almost done now. The last step is to export the thumbnail. And the way that you're going to export it is full screen. This is the easy way of doing it. So uh, click it to the beginning of the clip. Click play. Pause it anywhere in the middle. Click on the image. And then you're going to click uh, control shift 4 if you're using uh, a Windows keyboard on your Mac. Or if you're using a Mac keyboard, you click command shift 4. I'm pretty sure. And then it's going to give you this little weird arrow thing here. Bring it to the top of the screen. Click drag cover the whole screen boom took a screenshot we can exit this now minimize and then we're going to want to open this up and okay so now we need to change the um the size of the actual file because youtube only lets you use uh, two mb pictures so the way we're going to do this is click tools uh adjust size and then there you go. See how it's this, the picture right now is 3.3 MB. This wouldn't let you put it on YouTube. The easy way of fixing this without any other programs or anything. Usually I used to have to download a program to do this. Now um, I realize it's a lot easier. Just um, go to custom and then change resolution to 1280 by 720. Or if you have to go smaller, you can go uh, 1224. Or you can use any of these, but this should work. This reduces the size to 66%. So there we go. We're going to be at 1.6 MBs. There you go. That's done. So after that's done, I like to go. I have a thumbnail folder where I keep all my thumbnails. And I'm just going to throw the image right in. After you're done uploading it on YouTube. So you have a file with all your thumbnails saved. And that's it, everyone. If I helped you guys out in this video, please do me a favor. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.